Hey internet, what's happening? Today is the third or the fourth? Fourth. The fourth of um, February, and it's a Friday or a Saturday, and I'm sitting home uh, here tonight hacking up a server. This is a HP, no, not a HP. It's an Acer Easy Home Server, and uh, <clears throat> I took it all apart out of its casing. And this is a headless machine, so it doesn't have any um, inputs for a keyboard or a VGA display out. So <clears throat> this little header right here, I've done some research on the internet, and it determined that this header actually is a uh, <coughs> excuse me, actually is a debug header that has built-in VGA or support for VGA out, USB, PS2, and serial. So I, sp I found the specifications on the internet, and uh, I'm only interested in getting VGA, a uh, VGA signal from here out to uh, a monitor. So I just have the did a bit of research, have the pinout done, and now I'm uh, soldering on a uh, extensions to pins since I don't have the right connector, and then that's just heading out the back of this case uh, uh, to a display cable. So more on that later. All right, so I've soldered up the connections to their appropriate connections. Like I said, I don't have the proper socket for that connector, so I soldered the uh, the tips of the wires right onto the pins of the of that header there. Uh, hoping nothing's touching, but now it's time to put the server back together and plug it in and see if we have VGA support. Hey, internet, what's happening? Just wanted to give everybody a little update on the uh, status of the um, basically adding VGA support to the home server. Working on that yesterday as I mentioned in a previous video uh, the outcome of that was a total bust. Um, absolutely did not work one bit. Some of the problems I ran into, I guess the main problem I ran into was I didn't have the proper connector to connect. Um, um, basically on the server there's uh, what's called a debug port that uh, has VGA out, serial input, PS2 uh, mouse and keyboard um, output um, all in one header that uh, Acer uh, employees use at their factory to test um, all the different functions of the server. Um, using an article I found on the internet it was actually possible to solder on um, VGA cables to get a signal out from that box to a monitor. So the main problem I ran into was I was soldering everything onto the pins directly without actually having a connector because I was trying to do it as cheap as possible. And the other major uh, problem I ran into was the, the VGA cable I was using was a standard uh, cheap off-the-shelf VGA cable and it didn't have um, the full 15 pins that you would find in a typical connector. So it had all the common ones like the red, green, blue, horizontal, vertical sync, and 5 volt VGA, but it was lacking about seven ground uh, connections. Um, I checked into the specifications of VGA uh, before I started this, and it was clear that uh, every uh, color signal needed its own ground as well as uh, some other common grounds. But I did use one because it was the only uh, ground available in the cable I happened to, use, I happened to be using, uh, so it wasn't enough. Um, when I did hook up the monitor, I got a... There was signal going to the, to the screen. Uh, it was getting power, but it wasn't getting any, any video data. So checked over the connections. I built a homemade uh, continuity tester. Uh, everything checked out, so everything was was in the right place. I think I was just lacking uh, um, the rest of the pins. Um, another thing I did try was um, soldering all the grounds connect, uh, together into a, t a common ground. That didn't work also. So I'm guessing uh, if I had a extended uh, VGA cable with... Um, the full 15 connections, I think it would have been a better turnout, but uh, it didn't. So, 
the next thing to do um, with adding VGA support to a home server, and I have to be using the Acer H340 um, and uh, some of the specifications on that. It's a 1.6 atom powered processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, no video, like I said, and it's just running Windows Home Server 2005, I do believe, three or five, I'm not too sure. But uh, the end goal was basically adding monitor support to that so we could change the uh, system software either to uh, free NAS or uh, a different distribution of Linux or a full-fledged uh, home server software like uh, Windows Server 08 or something so we have greater control over the computers on our network. But uh, So we're at a bit of a standstill now and uh, the next best thing to do would be to get a video card which would be the easiest thing to do and plug that into the server uh, but the, the ones used in that server are pretty hard to find. It's a PCIe X1 or X4 and they're uh, difficult to find and if you do find one they're usually trying to be pretty expensive. I found one on eBay for about $52 so that's probably the cheapest one I found and uh, so we'll look at uh, into that s solution in the future. Alright, that's it. Ciao.